Okay, in this problem it says uh, what volume in milliliters is required to make up a 4.00 molar solution of 45.00 grams of this compound. Okay, most of these problems are based upon this equation. Molarity is equal to moles divided by volume in liters. So moles of substance in liters of solution essentially. Molarity is the same as concentration, and I will use these terms interchangeably throughout this discussion. Now, in this question, I'm after a volume because it says what volume. So I know that I need volume. So volume in liters is then equal to moles divided by molarity. Now, that's just a simple algebraic manipulation. Multiply both sides by volume in liters and divide both sides by molarity and that will give me moles divided by molarity. The other way of doing that is to say well it's moles times 1 over molarity. Now you'll see how I'm going to use this in a minute. Alright so we're going to start off with the grams here in the hopes I'm going to get moles and I think a good tip here is uh, if you can possibly try and get moles first and I know if I go to grams uh, from grams I can get moles directly if I start off with molarity there's nothing I can really multiply it by because I don't have a volume to get moles so uh, I'm going to start off with the 45.00 grams and that's always a good rule of thumb go for moles first if you possibly can so the way I'm going to set this up is I'll have the 45.00 grams. I know grams is going to go on the bottom, so those cancel. I'm after moles, so I'll put that on top. The relationship between these is that one mole is equal to the molecular weight, which I'm given as 459.70 grams. All right, so that's my, that's my first step to get moles. Now, my next step, I know that moles are going to have to go on the bottom. And the reason for that is because those are going to have to cancel because I don't want moles in my answer so I know those have to go so I'll put moles on the bottom here to cancel it. Now what I need though is a volume and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put liters here because I know there's a relationship between moles and liters. What is that relationship you might ask? Well it's from here the 4.00 big M. 4.00 big M is the same as saying 4.00 moles per liter. Or another way of saying that, it's equal to 4.00 moles in 1 litre. Right, so that's another way of writing that. What that means is, is that there's a relationship between moles and litres. And we know there's 4.00 moles of substance dissolved in 1 litre. That's the same as saying for every 1 litre there's 4.00 moles of substance. Well, you might say, well, how do I justify this? Well, going back to here, we know that uh, volume in liters can be gained by taking the moles and multiplying it by 1 over the molarity. That's what we've got here is 1 over molarity. It's the flip of molarity or the inverse of molarity. So the same as, in the same spirit as dividing by molarity, we can multiply by 1 over molarity, which is 1 liter over 4.00 moles. Now, as you can see, that's going to cancel my moles, cancel my grams. All I'm left with now is liters, but I don't need liters, I need milliliters. So my last step here is going to be to do a conversion that will allow me to get milliliters. And that would be to multiply by 1,000 mils over 1 liter. And again, I know the liters go on the bottom to cancel this. So the liters will cancel, and all I'm left with now is milliliters, which is how I'm going to get my answer, 24.5 milliliters. The significant figures here are based upon the 4.00 molar, which has three significant figures, so my answer comes out to three significant figures as well.